Hey girl, hey! I'm going to be doing this review flexi rod tutorial using As I Am hair products. So, if you want to see how I got these popping curls in my natural hair, then keep watching this video. So, I am, like I said, using As I Am products and to wash my hair. I start off by just getting it really like wet and just like prepping my hair and I also make sure that my hair is detangled before I put any water on it so that definitely helps when it comes to washing my hair just making sure that it's detangled out really good and then wetting it really good before I put any type of product so this is the as I am coconut co-wash and you guys I really 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 loved this stuff like sis this was my favorite one out of these three products these are all new i purchased all of these from target and i love the way this stuff did my hair like anything that has to do with like coconut anything that has coconut in it i'm like yes because coconut is so good for your skin for your body for your hair so anything that has coconut in it i'm like yes and just look at my curls when this coconut co-wash is on my hair so i love to watch detangling like the detangling part of like natural hair videos just seeing them like brush their curls and just like just see the curls form like i love 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 to just see the natural black african indian you know whatever roots you got in your hair and it's just so pretty so, but the coconut co-wash is just what I'm detangling and I'm using a demi brush and I'm just detangling my hair. I start from the root and then work my way up when I'm detangling my hair. I, I just feel like that just helps me like get, you know, it doesn't, it just, it's easier to detangle from the ends of the hair to the root. And this coconut co-wash is, it says it effectively cleanses hair and scalp without sulfates and harsh detergents. It hydrates dry hair for more vibrant, manageable, natural coils and curls. And look at my curls. They look great. They look really, really great. So a co-wash, and it has tangerine, coconut oil, castor oil, saw, pomato, and, it, and it's the number, and it's the number one selling co-wash. And I really see why. I've heard really good things about As I Am products, and look at my hair. Like, it just looks great. Like, it looks so, the curls just look so defined. Like, I really, really love, pause. Who else cannot wash their hair in the shower? Like... <laughs> Anytime that I try to wash my hair in the shower, no. I always end up getting like soap in my eye or something. I cannot do it. I'm a baby. But look, look at my curls. Look at my hair. This coconut co-wash is the best and it smells so good. Like, I love the smell of this coconut co-wash. Mm. And instead of like washing your hair and like shampooing your hair, you can do this. You can use a co-wash instead of like shampooing your hair and conditioning it. It's just a shorter step for those of you who aren't sure what a co-wash is. But I have already washed my hair. I had already washed my hair like a few days before. And so I, this was just like, the co-wash was just like a reviver and I had deep condition. I am putting the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner and let's see what this does. It smells really good and then I also use the smoothing gel. This smoothing gel also smells really really good. That's the smoothing gel what I'm putting on my curls right now. So. What I'm doing is I'm sectioning my hair for the flexi rods and I'm just really making sure that it's saturated in that gel. Oh my gosh. Can y'all hear that? Even downtown, they, they be on it. On it. But yes, I'm just taking the flexi rod and I'm making sure to leave spaces in between 
the, my hair in the flexi rod. This is going to form your curl. So you really want to make sure that you leave spaces in between your hair when you're forming it on the flexi rod. And I make sure that the ends are really saturated in the smoothing gel. And I just really make sure that it's all one sound, one band, one sound, you know? And uh, the leave-in conditioner, I thought it was cool. It says it's supposed to hydrate, soften. It helps prevent styling products from flaking and hardening upon hair when used prior to applying styling gels and cream. So, and that's what we are going to apply, this gel, smoothing gel. So this leave-in conditioner helps it to not flake up the smoothing gel, which is a good effect. I didn't experience any like flaking up. And it's supposed to hydrate it, but I don't know. After, like when I took my flexi rise down the next day, they didn't really just look, you know, hydrated, I don't know. But look how, look how that smoothing gel makes my curls really like pop like that. So the smoothing gel, I really liked as well. I feel like they really help my curls like define and it smells really, really good, like I already said. And I love stuff that smells good. So, yeah. Once again, flexi rods, I feel like if you just look, you <laughs> it's easier to look. Take the flexi, make sure you detangle your hair. Detangle your hair before you put your hair on the flexi rod because that is going to help your hair form one curl. So it's already, my hair had already been detangled out and it had already. I had already put the gel on there and now I'm just wrapping it around the flexi rod and making sure to leave a good amount of space in between it so it will form my curls and making sure anywhere that I felt like it got it was a little too dry I would go in and put extra here I am putting extra smoothing gel on my natural hair around that flexi rod and then I'm just bending the ends. And I did that all around my hair. It's really like this same process over and over. But I feel like I could have put a little bit more leave-in conditioner in, especially because my hair had over time got drier. I've been natural for about at least like probably like five or six or like seven years now I've been natural for a long time I don't even like know the exact number but my hair was really really damaged from a lot of color and a lot of bleach so I just wanted to like start over and that's what made me like take being natural seriously my hair was damaged honey <laughs> like super damaged but so this is like my first time doing flexi rise on my natural hair i just wanted to see what it was like gonna turn out like but i think i want to like definitely try some more natural styles definitely so you guys are going to be able to see all of that and go through this natural hair journey with me if you're trying to go natural i know a lot of people have been like telling me like they're trying to go natural too and like or like they are natural and like you know with this quarantine going on you know what better time than to like work on your natural hair because what else do you have to do so yeah, I'm going to do a lot more natural hair tutorials and just like letting y'all know like products that I like and just product reviews. So definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's get me to 100 subscribers. And if you want to see more of my natural hair journey, my natural hair videos, and all of that good stuff. And tell everybody that you know to subscribe. Anybody that you know is going natural. Or if you know or you want to go natural subscribe so same technique just wrapping my hair around the flexi rod and I did 
sleep in these flexi rides. It was honestly the most uncomfortable sleep ever, girl. I was just stressed. But I did find like a, li a little like technique on how to sleep in it. But no, I it was girl it was terrible <laughs> but yes this is the next day boom i am i got my makeup on and i'm using garnier fruities i'm using their sleek like oils and i just put it all over my head in the flexi rods and then i'm going to start unraveling the flexi rods and i just take them down in the same direction really i don't like do the like whirl like the some people do it to where like they spin it around and like the windmill is what they call it how they take down the flexi ride i don't do mine like that because i don't really know how i just took them down the regular way girl and then i made sure that i had like oils on my hands just so to like maintain like the frizz even though my hair gets super 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 frizzy let me know what type of curls you think i have down below all my natural queens leave me a comment down below and let me know what type of curls you think i have i i know i think i'm like type four but i don't know like the letter i've been like looking at like natural hair tutorials trying to like figure out this is like the back the back <laughs> The back really could have been better, but I think, like, girl, I have potential. <laughs> I have potential to be good. But, yeah, let me know what type of curls you think I have. I really could, but I can't see the back, so can y'all really blame me? But I think those look good. Those look good. But towards the middle, I really did get, I really did slack off, and the middle was super frizzy. I just feel like it didn't really curl like the other ones did. But some of those back curls really curl really good. Some of them did not. I just got to keep it consistent and then really get my like roots because I wasn't really paying attention to that either. Honestly, guys, when I filmed this video, I was a little lit like my at my house. And I did my flexi rides that night right after she left. So... I really think if I would have kept it consistent, they really would have came out even cuter. But they really came out cute regardless. Like, what do y'all think? This is my first Flexi Rod tutorial since I have been, like, just, like, completely natural. And my hair isn't so damaged and unmanageable. So let me know how y'all think I did. And uh, overall, I would say that I do love the As I Am hairline. I am, if I was to recommend like any of these, any products of these, uh, any of these products to you guys, I would definitely recommend the Coconut Co-Wash. Definitely, definitely, definitely get that. I love the Coconut Co-Wash. It could be used as like a refresher to your hair if you don't feel like shampooing it um, and conditioning it all the time. So here I'm just separating it, making sure that I have oil on my hand to reduce frizz even though my hair is like super frizzy so i really leave me also some suggestions for some good products that maintain frizz i bought shea moisture coconut and hibiscus like frizz spray but let me know what y'all use below i really need something that is going to maintain my frizz because the curls look popping the curls look so cute girl <laughs> they look so cute okay but the S I am, I also like the smoothing gel. I think the smoothing gel was good. I like the leave-in conditioner as well. I do feel like I should have used more of the leave-in conditioner to really get a feel of it. But definitely I would recommend for sure. If you get anything from out of this as I am, definitely try that coconut co wash. For sure. And I love that smoothie gel. The curls are really cute. Really bouncy. The middle could definitely use some work. You see some inconsistency. But I think overall it was super cute. And you can wear it. Coconut co-wash at Target is $7.99. The leave-in conditioner. I'm just here like just like really like making my hair like have more volume i'm really just like plucking it out really getting a feel of my curls i like it i think it's cute and i love this little 
cow inspired makeup i love doja cat she inspired this and you guys definitely go pick up and watch your flex watch this flexi ride tutorial do you some flexi rides subscribe to my channel tell everyone you know to subscribe and like this video follow me on instagram and i will see you guys in my next one thank you for watching bye